in the name of Allah, the All-Beneficent, the All-Merciful. Which are the verses of the Holy Quran, proving the necessity of obedience to the twelve infallible Imams, alayhi salam. There are minimum three verses. First, Allah Almighty says, O you who believe, obey Allah and obey the Apostle and those in authority, O Lalamru, from among you, then if you quarrel about anything, refer it to Allah and the Apostle, if you believe in Allah and the last day, this is better and very good in the end. The Holy Quran 4, 59. Second, he says, and when there comes to them news of security or fear they spread it abroad, and if they had referred it to the Apostle and to those in authority among them, those among them who can search out the knowledge of it would have known it. The Holy Quran 4, 83. And third. Or do they envy the people for what Allah has given them of his grace? But indeed, we have given to Ibrahim's children, the book, and the wisdom, and we have given them, a grand kingdom. So of them is he who believes in him, and of them is he who turns away from him, and hell is sufficient to burn. The Holy Quran 4, 54-55 We should know that commentators have differed in explaining, O Lamur. From the Bakari and Omeri commentators, some have said that, they are chiefs and commanders of army and kings, and again some of them have also said that, O Lamur means the learned of the Ummah. We are unanimous that, O Lamur, are only the twelve infallible Imams of Ali Muhammad, Alaihimas Salam. On the basis of narrations which will be mentioned henceforth, O Lamur, is one who has authority in affairs, and there is no limit to this. It means that, he should possess authority in all the affairs of religion, and the world, and so he can be only the truthful infallible Imam. If a person has authority only in one matter, his obedience would be obligatory only in that matter, and one who has absolute authority in all affairs, only he would be the person whose obedience is absolute, and only he is the truthful infallible Imam. Surely, there are always some presumptuous and hypocrite personalities among the religious, economic, military or political references, who claim Imama falsely, and would like to be obeyed absolutely, without divine entitlement. Abu Bakr, Omar, Osman, Moaviyah, Baini Omaya, Baini Abbas, Baini Osman and other hypocrite governments which call themselves Islamic, have all followed this path. They have falsely claimed Imama. They have violently forced people to accept their despotic rule, and to obey them absolutely. The output of their system has been only violation of the primary human rights, oppression and corruption. They are all in fact, hypocrites, and subsequently unbelievers. They have abused all appearances of Islam as a cover for their cruelties. This means that from the martyrdom of the Holy Prophet, Sal Lau Aho Alehi Va Alehi Va Salam, up to day, and up to the unknown future, the Muslims have been and are governed by the treacherous and hypocrite governments. To mention the Messenger and Olalam by only one word, Obey, means that, the position of the Imam is similar to that of the Prophet. Rather, just as prophethood is from Allah, promulgated through the angel so is really, the Imama is an appointment through the Prophet, and only because of this the observance of the truthful infallible Imam is like obedience of the Prophet. This is why the word, Obey, has not been used between Rasul and Olalamur. Contrary to it, though the rank of prophethood is a very high rank, it is not similar to the rank of divinity. The word, obey, between, Allah, and, Rasul, points towards this. When Allah himself has joined the obedience of this group with the obedience of himself and of his prophet, then doubtlessly a group, must have been appointed by them, that is to say, Allah and the prophet whose command or Amr, would be the Amr of Allah and his prophet, so that their obedience may join with the obedience of Allah and his prophet. Otherwise, it will be construed that the obedience of oppressive and cruel kings, like the king of Byzantine, will be called and understood, the obedience of Ola Lamaru, which is like obedience of Allah and his messenger. The ugliness of this, is not hidden from a wise person. As Sheikh Tabarsi has said, 
it is not possible that, Allah the Allwise can permit the absolute obedience of a person, except that of a person whose infallibility and obedience be proved by Allah and his messenger. Allah knows that, man's internal condition is just like his outward appearance, and about him he may be satisfied that, he will neither commit any mistake, nor will do any ugly deed, and these virtues are not possessed by scholars and rulers, except the infallible Imams. Allah can never command the obedience of any person who may disobey him, and may order the obedience of a group whose deeds may be different from their words, because the obedience of the differing group is impossible, just as their agreement on a matter in which they have differed. One of all the proofs, which we have given, is this one also that, Allah Almighty has made the obedience of his messenger, his obedience, because the, Olalamaru, are higher than the entire creation just as the messenger is higher than the, Olalamaru, and the entire creation and this virtue is in the twelve infallible Imams from Ali Muhammad whose imama and infallibility has been proved, and the Ummah has unanimously agreed on their high ranks and their justice. Then, if you quarrel about anything, then submit that difference or dispute to the Book of Allah and Sunnah of the Holy Prophet, Sallal Aho Alayhi Va Alayhi Va Salam. And we Shias say that, after the martyrdom of the Holy Prophet, turn towards the twelve infallible Imams who are the vicegerents of the Prophet. Turning towards them for guidance, is like, it was to seek guidance from the Holy Prophet, Sallal Aho Alayhi Va Alayhi Va Salam, during his lifetime. Because, they are the protectors of the Hazrat and his successors in the Ummah. In the first part of the verse, there was the mention of, Olalamaru, but, at the end of the verse, due to the prevalent recitation, mode of reading, they are not mentioned, and only the point stated by Tabarsi has been mentioned. It may be to point out that any disagreement or dispute regarding Imama should also be referred to the book and the Sunnah. Therefore, the Imam must be nominated by Allah and his Prophet, not in the way adopted by the opponents, who believe that Imama should be based on consensus, and think that, the appointment of an Imam is by the Imam, but it is mentioned in some traditions that, in the recitation of Ahlal Bayt, there was, Olalamaru. At the end as Ali ibn Ibrahim has said that, Olalamaru, means Malana Amirul Mamanin Alamam Ali, Alayhi Salam. In short, it has been mentioned in a near true narration that this verse was revealed as, then if you quarrel about anything, refer it to Allah and the Apostle and those in authority from among you. Ayashi, Ramatola Alay, has also narrated that Imam Bagir, Alayhi Salam, had recited it like this. Kolani, Ramatola Alay, has on the basis of near right sources said that, Imam Bagir, Alayhi Salam, recited this verse as, Then if you quarrel about anything, refer it to Allah and the Apostle and those in authority from among you, then the Hazrat said, How can Allah order to obey them, and also to quarrel or oppose them? This was addressed to a group which has been ordered to obey Allah and his Prophet. The Hazrat means to convey that, if, Allah Lamur, is not at the end, then if would mean that, the Ummah can dispute with them and this is in conflict with what is said in the beginning of the verse. Ayashi, Ramatola Alay, has, with another chain of narrators related that Imam Bagir, Alayhi Salam, recited this verse like this, then if you quarrel about anything, refer it to Allah and the Apostle and those in authority from among you. In Oidu Nal Akbar Ariza, Imam Bagir, Alayhi Salam, is quoted saying that the Holy Prophet, Sal lal aho alayhi va alayhi va salam, made a will to Malana Amir ul Mamanin al Imam Ali and Imam Hassan and Imam Hussain, alayhima salam, and then said about this word of Allah, 4, 59, that, Ola Lamur, means Ali and the Imams from the progeny of Fatima, salam ala alayha, who will remain till Qiyamat. In Ekmal Laddin also this subject has been mentioned with true chains of narrators quoting Imam Bagir, Alayhi Salam, as saying, as above, and in Allah Molvarra and Manakabi Shara Ashab, the tafsir of Jafi, is quoted wherein Jabir Ansari says, I inquired about this verse from the Holy Prophet, Sal Lal Aho Alayhi Va Alayhi Va Salam, saying, We have recognized and known Allah and his messenger, 
but who are these Olamir? The Holy Prophet, Sal Lal Aho Alehi Va Alahi Va Salam, replied, O Jabir. They are my caliphs and the twelve infallible imams of Muslims after me. Among them, the first is Ali ibn Abi Talib, then Hassan, after him Hussein, and after him Ali ibn Hussein, then Muhammad ibn Ali, who has been called Bagir in Torah. O Jabir! You will meet him. Convey my salam and greeting to him. Thereafter, Jafar ibn Muhammad Sa'adik, then Musa ibn Jafar, then Ali ibn Musa, then Muhammad ibn Ali, then Ali ibn Muhammad, then Hassan ibn Ali, Alaihimas Salam. His son will have my name and my agnomen. All of them will be Allah's proofs on the earth, and will be, in his slaves, the remainders of caliphs, and the son of Hassan ibn Ali is the one whom Allah will make conquer the east and the west of the earth, and he will be the one who will go out of sight of his Shias, as is the right of becoming invisible. Only those people will remain believers in his imama, whose inner faith has been tested by Allah. Kolani and Ayashi, Ramatola Alehima, have narrated from Zayd ibn Moaviyah that he said, I ask for the explanation of this verse from Imam Bagir, Alehi Salam. He began explaining the preceding verses viz. Have you not seen those to whom a portion of the book has been given? They believe in idols, jibed, and false deities, taghut. The Holy Quran 4, 51. Jibed, and taghut were two idols of Quraysh. The Bakari and Omeri commentators say, it means Kav ibn Ashraf, and a group of Jews who went to Mecca, and bowed or prostrate before idols of the Quraysh. But the Hazrat said, by Jibd and Taghut are meant, the two notorious idols, that is to say the two hypocrite companions of the Holy Prophet, Abu Bakr and Omer. The following statement is, and they tell to the unbelievers, you are better guided in the matter of religion than Muhammad and his companions. According to Bakari and Omeri commentators, some Jews were saying that the disbelievers, who are the companions of Abu Safyan, are better guided in the matter of religion than Muhammad and his companions. But the Hazrat said, the statement means the Bakris and Omeris who say in comparison, those unjust caliphs and oppressor imams such as Abu Bakr and Omer and their followers who call people towards hell, are better guided than the truthful infallible imams of Ali Muhammad, alaihim salam. Those, Bakris and Omeris, are they whom Allah has cursed, and whomever Allah curses, you will not find any helper for him. The subsequent statement says, or have they a share in the kingdom? But then, they would not give to people, even the speck in the date stone. The Hazrat said, here kingdom means imama and caliphate and here Nas, people, means us, Ahlalbayt. Then, the Bakris and Omeris have not any share in imama. However, if they had a share in it, they would not entrust the authority to the infallible imams, even of the measure of the speck in the date stone. The Holy Quran 4, 52-55. The Hazrat said, they would not entrust to us even nakir which means the tiny dot which is found on the seed of a date fruit, that is to say, they would not entrust to us even the minimum of authority, still less the position of imama. Or do they envy the people for what Allah has given them of his grace? The Holy Quran 4, 54 Some have said, first of those who are envied for what Allah has given them of his grace, is the Holy Prophet, Sal Lal Aho Alehi Va Alehi Va Salam. He was envied because of his messengership and also because Allah has made it permissible for him to take nine wives. Others have said that the envied people are the Prophet Muhammad and his progeny, and that grace means his prophethood and the imama of his progeny. Imam Bagir and Imam Sadiq, Alaihim As Salam, have been quoted saying that, it means us, and people envy us, because Allah has reserved imama for us, and has not given it to anyone else. But indeed we have given to Ali Ibrahim, the book, and the wisdom, and we have given them a grand kingdom. The Holy Quran 4, 54. The Hazrat said, this statement means that, we have appointed messengers and imams from the progeny of Ibrahim. Now when people accept it, in the matter of progeny of Ibrahim, why they do not accept it, 
for the progeny of Muhammad. So, of them is he who believes in Ibrahim, and of them is he who turns away from him, and hell is sufficient to burn. The Holy Quran 4, 55 Certain people say that, the verse means, some from the people of the book, Ahli Kitab, believed, and some denied the prophethood of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa salam. The narrator says, I asked the Hazrat, what is the great kingdom which Allah says, he has given to Ali Ibrahim? The Hazrat said that Allah created among them such messengers and imams that whoever obeyed them has, in fact, obeyed Allah, and the one who defied them, in reality defied Allah. This is the great kingdom. Then, the Hazrat said that Allah has stated thereafter. Surely, Allah commands you to make over trusts to their owners. Which means that, they are us, and so it is necessary for us that, the earlier Imam from us should hand over the books, the knowledge and the Prophet's arms to the following Imam. And that when you judge between people, you judge with justice. The Holy Quran 4, 58 Thereafter Allah has addressed all the people saying, O you who believe! In this address Allah has gathered all faithful persons till the day of judgment. O you who believe! Obey Allah and obey the Apostle and those in authority, Olalamir, from among you, here, Olalamir, means us. The following statement, then if you quarrel about anything, refer it to Allah and the Apostle, if you believe in Allah and the last day, this is better and very good in the end. Has also been revealed like that, and how could it to be possible that, Allah might have ordered the obedience of the, Olalamir, and also permitted to quarrel or dispute with them. This is an address to those people who have been commanded to obey. Ayashi, Ramatola Ale, has narrated that Aban ibn Taklub came to Imam Raza, alayhi salam, and asked, Who are the Ola Lamr? The Hazrat replied, Ali ibn Abi Talib. Then he kept silent. Aban asked, Who after him? The Hazrat said, Imam Hassan, alayhi salam, and became silent. When asked again he said, Hussein, and then kept quiet. Aban asked, Who thereafter? Imam said, Imam Ali ibn Hussein. Likewise Imam Raza was stopping after giving every name, and I was asking about the next. It went on like this, until he gave the name of the last Imam. Imran Halebi also is reported to have said that Imam Sa'adik, alayhi salam, told him, you group of the Shias, have achieved the root of religion according to Allah's command, as he has said, O you who believe. Obey Allah, and obey the Apostle, and those in authority, O Lamr, from among you. And, according to the instruction of your Prophet, as he said, I am leaving two weighty things among you. So long as you adhere to them, you will never deviate, because you have not accepted faith or religion, in response to hypocrites, such as Abu Bakr and Omar etc. Also, in explaining this verse, Imam Bagir, alayhi salam, said that it has been revealed in the honor of Amir al mamanin al-Imam Ali and of the Imams from his progeny. Allah has appointed them in place of prophets. The only difference is that, these Imams do not make anything halal, permissible, or anything haram, prohibited, rather they convey the Shariat of Muhammad, Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa salam, to people. Again, Hokim is reported to have said that he asked Imam Sa'adik, alayhi salam may I be sacrificed for you, please let me know who is the, Ola Lamr, who have to be obeyed. He replied, they are Ali ibn Abi Talib and Hassan and Hussein and Ali ibn Hussein and Muhammad ibn Ali and Jafar ibn Muhammad, that is I. So, Thank Allah who made you know and recognize your leaders when other people denied them. According to another narration, Imam Raizat, alayhi salam, is reported to have said that, Ola Lamr, are Ali ibn Abi Talib, alayhi salam, and some legatees after him. Farad ibn Ibrahim has quoted Imam Sa'adik, alayhi salam, that, Ola Lamr, means those who have knowledge and wisdom. People asked, is this thing reversed for you people or is it a common thing? 
he replied, it is reserved for us Evlal Bait. Imam Bagir, alayhi salam, is reported to have said that in this verse, Olalam Ur, means the progeny of Muhammad, Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa salam.